one of the few generals to actually come out of Belgium in World War I. He was tasked with teaching the Crown Prince Albert I and holding the city of Liege against the Germans. And his name is Gerard Laman. So, Gerard Mantu Joseph George, Count Laman by today's standards, was born on January the 8th, 1851, in the city of Liege. He was the Belgian general and he was responsible with the military education of King Albert I during World War I. He was a commander of the force surrounding the Belgian city of Liege. So, pre World War I, Le Mans was the son of an artillery captain who was the professor at a military school. He entered the military school of Brussels, where he actually left in 1869, so at Paris Liege. In January 1914, months before the war actually started, he was appointed commander of the fort surrounding the Belgian city of Liege, as well as the third divisions of the Belgian army. He was determined to hinder the German advance as much as possible. Over 1,800,000 laborers were sent to work building fortifications around the edge. During a visit by the Belgian minister, he was actually told these projects would actually compromise the neutrality of Belgium. The man was unimpressed and replied, the Belgians would take me later if war had ever broke out. If no war came, they could take away all his general stars. So with that, the Battle of Liege had actually commenced, August 1914. German forces under General Otto von Emmen appeared before Liege and summoned it for surrender. On General Le Mans refusal, the fortress was attacked and the Battle of Liege had begun. General von Emmen force were initially unable to break through his fortifications. Only after they used very heavy artillery such as Big Bertha's, Suda's and heavy and other heavy guns brought by Germans and the Sudoka works against the forts, they did succeed in knocking them out and turning them into nothing more than rubbles of concrete. Le Mans was knocked unconscious by the bombardment, but he was rescued by Germans on the, under the debris at Fort Lincoln. He was held as prisoner of war in Germany until 1917, where he was repartied to Switzerland due to his ill health. As a token of respect, he was allowed to retain his sword. Le Mans insisted that reports of his capture mentions he was not he did not surrender, but he was captured unconsciously. So after the war, there's nothing really much. He basically retired after the war. He was already he was already 60, going on 65 when the war actually began. So at the tender age of 69, he died in 1920. He is remembered as the person who stopped the Belgians just for this crucial couple of days, turning into months and then the Battle of the Marne which started trench warfare and the rest is basically history. So while he's credited for teaching King Albert the first to lead his people into victory, he'd also stopped the Germans from advancing and making France capitulate in those early days of World War One.